So today we're gonna to talk about choosing the best kitchen worktop for you. So there are quite a few options we need to talk about, but first I'm gonna start with the laminate. So the laminate worktop is probably the lowest end when it comes to work surface, because it's just a, a laminate surface on a chipboard base. Now this, is, this can be damaged, um, but it has moved on over the years. So it has become quite a durable product, but once again, this is a product that will burn if you was gonna put a, a hot pan on it, and it can be susceptible to water because it's not a 100% sealed product. So that would be the laminate work surface. Then we move round to granite. Now granite is a really good work topic, gives lots of benefits in terms of colours and the durability of it, but there are a couple of negatives to it as well where it does have a durability to it. So because so, the product can be porous, so you've got to be careful with certain food mixtures and, and things like that, and also it can burn. So it's another product you can't take a hot pan off a hob and put directly onto granite because it does have a shock factor and it could crack, but it comes in loads of different colours. So it's a very good choice when it comes to the work surface. Then what we do is we move round to the quartz worktop. Now this is very similar to granite, but it comes in even more colours. Because this is a man-made stone, you can have lots of different colours and you can choose quite a lot of things to look at this. But once again, it is a shock factor, so you can't take a boiling pan off a hob and put it directly onto it, because it could damage it, it could stain it, could burn it. And similar to the granite with the quartz, if it, once it burns, it's burns, it's ruined. So you have to be very careful about its usage, but it's very, very durable and a lot tougher than the granite itself. So then we move round to the composite worktop. Once again, one of my favourites is the composite because it's a bit more workable. So basically with a composite product, you can buy two free sheets of this and you can join them together so it has a seamless joint. If it does get damaged in any way, so if you did put a hot pan on it or if you scratched it or if a tin of beans fell out of the cupboard and hit the deck and it dented it, it can be repaired. So that's the beautiful thing about a composite worktop. So once again, one of my favourites due to the, the durability of it and it can be repaired. Still can't be putting hot pans on it because it will burn, but once again, repairable. So a really good solid product. Then we move on to wood. Now, wood is obviously a natural product. So it comes in lots of different colors, as you know, it can be stained, it can be looked after, but the one thing you need to know about wood is obviously it is gonna be durable and susceptible to water, so you have to treat it. So you have to oil it on the surface, once it's been installed, you have to oil it, and you probably have to keep it up every six months to really maintain it. If you don't do that, you know, it can be susceptible to staining. And same as anything else, this steel can't have a hot pan go onto this. But once again, a real good benefit to the wood is if you did ruin it, if you chipped it, you stained it, you can just sand it down, repair it, and then stain and then polish it and stain it again. So then it's a much usable product if you're willing to work with it and be persistent with it. I forgot what I was gonna say. So I hope that gives you a real good insight into the different materials and worktops that are out there and helps you choose what's the best worktop for you. When it comes to cost, it probably goes from laminate to wood to granite to quartz to composite, and then there's one more product that I didn't talk about, and that is an indestructible product. Now, there's something like, called Lapitec or Decton. It's a product that can be scratched, it can't be burned. It's a really cool product. So one thing about it, but that'd be the top end when it comes to that. So I hope that was helpful, and I've created loads of blogs, videos, and articles, all designed to help you with your home improvement project. So why don't you go check them out, and I'll catch you next time.